Liverpool has a really rich and varied architectural history. There are loads of great buildings all over the city, but obviously there are some great buildings that have been knocked down or bombed and that you can't really see anymore. Liverpool did get bombed a lot in the Second World War, you see. The Germans bombed Liverpool a lot because it was such an important port city, but most of the bomb sites have been cleaned up now. In the 17th century, Liverpool expanded massively because of all the goods that were being shipped in and out. The British Empire was really starting to expand back then, at first into what would eventually become North America, and then, once the Americans had gained their independence from the British in 1783, Britain started to expand its empire towards Asia and Africa. Because the Industrial Revolution was born in Britain, that gave the country a massive technological head start over the other countries. I think my favourite's the old White Star building, or it might be called the Albion building, I'm not really sure of its official name. It's a hotel now, but it used to be the headquarters of the White Star Line Shipping Company. That was the company that owned the Titanic, and when the Titanic sank in 1912, they read out the terrible news from the balcony. Down below there was a massive crowd. The officials were too afraid to leave the building, so they read out the names of the dead from the balcony. The most shameful aspect of all that was certainly the slave trade, and Liverpool played a significant part in that. So it's troubling to think that a lot of the wealth that built the most glamorous buildings in the city was paid for through such a terrible exploitation of human life, where people were treated like some kind of commodity to be bought and sold. Probably the most impressive building in the whole of Liverpool is St George's Hall. It was built between 1841 and 1854. It was designed by Harvey Lonsdale Elms. He won an architectural competition to build it when he was only 25, but he died of consumption before it was finished, so he never got to see it. 